दोस्तों ये जो वीडियो है ना ये बहुत ज्यादा एक्साइटिंग है आई एम राइट नाउ इन मेनलो पार्क आई एम हियर फॉर द मेटा कनेक्ट फ्लाइंग इन ऑल द वे फ्रॉम दुबई लास्ट वीक आई वॉज इन द बेरिया इज वेल फॉर द आई फोन लॉन्च यू नो बट यू नो आई वॉज सो एक्साइटेड टू बी हियर अगेन जस्ट बिकॉज आई न्यू इट्स मेटा एंड कंसिडरिंग ऑल द लीक्स एंड ऑल दट वॉट मेटा इज अप टू आई वॉज लाइक दे गुड हैव समथिंग बिग फॉर श्योर तो हेर आई एम गाई इज द गाय सिटिंग नेक्स्ट टू मी is andrew bosworth dearly known as boss and he is the one behind all what you see because he is the chief technology officer at meta namaskar dosto mera naam hai gaurav aap dekh rahe hain technical guru ji chaliye shuru karte hain andrew welcome thanks for thanks for coming in we're so glad we got to show it off yeah all excited about this lineup uh thrilled and i got to tell you The response has been so positive already. It's it's pretty gratifying. This these products come together really late actually. Um uh-huh. was, a month ago was the first time I got my full really <laughs> meta measurement displays uh-huh. working well. Um and uh as soon as I started wearing it 2 to 3 days in, I I felt I knew I knew we had it. We had the goods. Uh it, it feels great. You're used to it. I've got the the band yes. on and what's funny now is when I don't have my display glasses on uh-huh. I'll still be doing the gestures <laughs> and I'm like ah it's not working I know, why yeah, can't yeah, I, yeah. why can't I bring my messages up yeah. so yeah we're we're pretty excited about yeah, it I've been using these like for some time now and uh, I mean the gestures I was a bit skeptical to begin with but then when I tried for the first time I was like it's real time yeah like the haptics come in instantly yep. the animations like it feels like as if it's aware of what I'm supposed to do beforehand Yeah, it's worth noting. I mean, right, it really is recognizing what you're about to do before you're doing it and anticipating that. Yeah. I got to put it back off now. So, so the, the we had a very good stroke of luck here, which is we launched the Orion prototype last yes. year, the full AR glasses. Yes. And now the full AR glasses aren't ready yet, but the neural band was. Yes. That gave us an entire year to optimize the interface, to design the gestures, to make sure it worked for everybody. Um and that has proven to be the difference. That is actually what makes this product delightful. You know what? Like, okay, take this form factor already we are fighting on space we are fighting on weight we are fighting on aesthetics and everything and then to include like a good quality display <laughs> yeah you know like i was watching reels yeah. and i was like okay i can still have like four five in a row and i'd still not be you know like uh, worried about like the quality whatever how difficult from an engineering perspective is it like for you to have the screen which is again efficient on the battery as well that's right should not sip in like so much of power yeah tell me about it yeah we, you know we we partnered with shot to build these geometric wave guides and geometric wave guides are complicated to build it's hard to manufacture them effectively mm-hmm. and have good yields um and they have some limitations on field of view mm-hmm. but they do give you tremendous efficiency and brightness and a shout out to our design team we were able to design them to have only 2% light leakage which yeah. helps both with battery life and that means you're not seeing a bunch of weird holograms yes. in front of my it's eyes it's very discreet so yeah. um So this was one of the you know we have every time we do a technology uh a track we do multiple approaches so we have four or five different wave guide designs and four or five different materials and four or five different light sources mm-hmm. um and then as we down select as we get closer to launch we're able to pick the best one um and so that leaves us at every given point in a great position to integrate a good product um this one i i admit came together even better than we expected uh-huh. <laughs> yeah no because uh, i was like okay also like the fact that it's slightly on the side yeah so it's there but it's not in the way of you like doing normal things yeah you know if you think about some of the use cases that we have in mind we're yeah. captioning people for example yes. so somebody who speaks a different language than you being able to do live translations underneath them or you're in a crowded restaurant or you're hard of hearing being able exactly. to live caption it yeah well i can't do i don't want it to go right on top of your face yes, i want it to yes, go a little bit yes, down to the yes, side yeah. so i can still make solid eye contact and that really was our number one goal mark talked about this yesterday it's making sure they're great glasses first. Yeah. Great glasses don't cause it to be harder for you to connect with somebody you're talking to, right? That's that would technology be technology on the side. Technology is is on the side. Yeah. Hopefully what it actually helps you do is take your phone out of your pocket less. Yeah. Now you're you got a message coming in, you're dealing with it, you're gone yeah. and you're back engaged in the world. I would say 90% of what you would do on your phone, you can do it on them without like okay, let's say you have a message coming in, you want to navigate something, you want to yep. quickly do a Google search, like yep. you know those kind of things. I mean no need to take your phone out That's Spotify right. whatever I mean it's yep. right here music yeah. photos videos yes. yes yeah it's like it's all right there no you just said uh, they need to be glasses first and okay you have this entire lineup That's speaking right. of the the standard ones the latest vanguards the Houston's I even brought for you to see 
Ah, the display clears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not we're not shipping these, but this yeah. is a, we we build these internally, so it gives you a good little sneak preview into all the tech inside the the displays and that you and I are wearing. You know, I see you have utilized every there's not square space, square right. millimeter for like this battery. This yeah. right here, the speaker unit, and yeah, not a lot of space left over. Yeah, is this is this is what real engineering looks like? I think. Yeah. Yeah. But this is yeah, like you're not shipping. The reason we're not shipping this one, uh -huh. I love clear, and I've kind of made yeah, that kind yeah. of my, my iconic style. Uh, light can get into the waveguide from the side ah, because they're okay, clear. <laughs> so okay, we, okay. Well, I think we'll still maybe we can work on a little clouding there. Just, we'll just, just this segment in, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so okay, what I was saying was that now that you have this uh, versatile lineup in terms of like there's something for everyone. That's right. Um, how important is it for you to have this? Because okay, let's talk about this as a piece of tech. Yeah. It gets too nerdy. That's right. But then the moment you make it a lifestyle thing, everyone wants one. Yeah. Glasses are so personal. Yeah. Uh, you know, we get a hard time sometimes. People say, oh, you know, Google Glass did it and Vuzix did it and North did it. And they're right. Those were tremendous technological achievements of their time. But the reason they're not the same as this is because they didn't show enough respect to the first rule. Yeah. Glasses first, great glasses yeah. first. Great yeah. glasses aren't just functional. They're how you look. Yes. And it's how people see you in the world. Yes. And people care about that. Um, and if you identify as somebody who is uh, an athlete, making sure that you are wearing something that delivers on the premise. You're not all you crowd. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You, this is, this is a, it's, it's, it's part of your identity. It's, yes. it's how, you, how you see yourself. It's not just about the functionality, it's both the functionality and how you see yourself coming together. And so you're never gonna do that with one pair of glasses. Hmm. You're never gonna do that with one frame, one style. Um, and I think, you know, our partners at SL Electrotica, we're so lucky to work with them because yes. they understand that better than anybody. Of course. And they can bring us to all the iconic frame styles that people love to have. Mm, that yeah, I mean, Wayfarer is a Wayfarer. I mean, that's forever. That's right. Yeah. But then, you know, it was funny to me, you know, we add the Houstons and I saw you had a pair coming in. Yeah. Um, we add the Houstons and um, for my wife, this frame looks amazing on her. Yeah. You know, and so now her chance is that she's going to feel like, yes, this is a pair of glasses that I can use. Uh huh. Is here. Yeah, because it's so personal for everyone. It, yeah. It's so personal, you know? And so, so I, I just think that's something we've believed in from the day one. It's something that the tech crowd often misses uh -huh. is the importance of style and of how we the show masses. up. masses. Like, Absolutely. Yeah. I know. yeah, and 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 so I think we've kind of done that and here. Even even with these, I think from far away or like even up close, they don't feel like you're wearing something out of place. We got real lucky too. Yeah. The, yeah. This year's trend in glasses is chunky glasses. Exactly. <laughs> so we, yeah, got a, when, we got a little yeah. lucky on that. <laughs> <laughs> so let's say you were to design a pair of glasses with a camera, microphones, and like all these things, a display and everything. But I think the cherry on top is AI. Yeah, that's because right. Because it enables so much more for you to achieve with those kind of hardware. It's 100%. It's, it's when you, I, the Ray-Ban Metas were not designed with AI in mind. Yeah. It ended up being a happy marriage. Yeah. We came in very late before we launched them uh -huh. and realized we're missing a huge opportunity for these glasses to, in addition to doing yeah, music and photos and videos, to answer questions for you. Um, and now when you add a display and I can trigger the AI without having to say a wake word, yeah. which I've just done, I'm gonna cancel that. Uh, yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> and also get my answer visually, yes. as opposed to read back out to me. Yes, It's like, you can't believe how the usefulness jumps up. Um, first of all, a lot of questions are visual. Hmm. Um, and the second thing is, it's just a much more efficient way for us to- I mean, to you, read, you read faster than much someone- faster. Yeah. Much faster. Um, and it's more subtle. You're in the middle of a conversation. You can grab yeah, information yeah. and go. So I've been I've been really um, so pleased with this intersection. I think we thought that augmented reality would come first, and then AI would come later. And mm -hmm. we were always investing in both. Yeah. The fact that they're coming to, together and actually yes. AI a little ahead yeah. is awesome. <laughs> it makes them so much more useful day one. Well, a, as a tech guy, um, okay. If I were to ask you, let's say the biggest challenge today in making something like these. What would that be? Uh, a lot of it is it's uh, literally manufacturing them mm -hmm. is hard. Um, we're doing things that nobody have ever done before with these waveguides at a scale that's never really been attempted before. Mm -hmm. So you solve all these really hard technical problems. You get this amazing prototype that works. Mm -hmm. And then you go to the industry and you realize no one's ever built it mm. in mass production before. Yeah, yeah. And this is one of the reasons our Orion um, augmented reality glasses last year were a prototype. It's because literally it was impossible to build enough of them mm -hmm, to be mm -hmm. able to sell credibly. Um, we're making tremendous strides on that. 
Um, but it's kind of uh, like Michael Abrash said this morning, is Hofstetter's Law, which is everything takes longer than you think it should, yeah. even when accounting for Hofstetter's Law. Yes. No matter how much you think, okay, we're going to plan for this, you, you can't always do it. have, yeah. Um, but what's beautiful about this company and about working with Mark is the conviction we have. Mm -hmm. We believe in these products. So we're willing to put the investment in, in with, with our industry partners alongside us, collectively put the investment in to build on faith mm -hmm. that when we do, there'll be a big enough audience that pays us all back our investment. Audience for sure, I can see, I mean, this almost on every face walking outside right now. Yeah, that's I mean, right. This is getting popular. But I think one more challenge would be the battery, isn't that's it? That's right. Because, okay, you can't have it like 100 grams worth of glasses on your face, yeah. That's right, 100%, and, yeah. and we're so sensitive. I mean, yeah. when we are talking about- the And when way, you're doing more and more on these glasses, you need that power as well. Yes, and, yeah. and, and we're dealing with every fraction of a gram yes. we celebrate. Yes. <laughs> every fraction of a gram we can cut, yeah. we're celebrating. Um, and battery technology, as you know, is not making great strides. Yes. It's a very linear, uh, a few percent a year improvement. Yes. We did manage to, by virtue of really being confident in our form factor, get into steel can batteries for this generation of glasses. Mm -hmm. That's a 40% bump. There's not a lot of other bumps like that, uh -huh. which means a lot of your work has to be on the efficiency of the compute side. Yes. How do you make the compute more efficient? The more you can do on the glasses, the better. The most expensive thing you can do battery-wise with a bit of information is send it over a radio. Yeah. So if it has to go over Bluetooth or God forbid Wi-Fi, that's gonna hit your battery hard. Yes. So the more you can do on glasses, the better. Um, and then even within that, the more efficiently you can do it. How efficiently can you generate the photons mm -hmm. is one of the big questions that we always have to grapple with. That's why this, uh, the displays we have here, a custom liquid crystal on silicon, extremely efficient generation of, of uh, very high brightness um, display. Um, so photons and then the compute. Uh, custom silicon is a big part of our program. Yeah. We have to have custom silicon because otherwise we don't get the thermal and power efficiency we need to do all the you operations. Need the right the optimization from all the components yeah. combined to achieve something like this, yeah? The, but these are, there's a virtuous cycle here, which is the more the product is in market and we see how it's used, yeah. the more we can optimize the expensive paths with, with high confidence. Makes sense, Because yeah. you know, these custom silicon investments, you make them years in advance yes. and they're very expensive. Yes. Um, and so the more confidence you have in the use case, the more confident you can be in that investment and that's yeah. a virtuous cycle. And we're in it now, which is I mean, great. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, speaking of use cases, you know, like, okay, Initially, when I started using my Meta Ray-Bans, you know, people might look at it as like, oh, these are glasses with a hidden camera or like a camera that, okay, I can record stuff where I'm not supposed to, whatever. Yep. Over time, we are getting used to it. That's right. But then going forward, let's say you have a device on your face with multiple sensors, cameras, microphones, and all these like things. How do you ensure, like, especially being at Meta, the privacy side of it? And then how do you convince people to yep. have something on them all the time. Yeah, we, we grapple with this uh, really kind of on a daily basis. You know, so when we started, we made it really obvious um, that we were, if you were recording or taking a video, because we had the, the light, light on. goes on, yeah. Um, but then there's an interesting thing that happens. If I'm asking the AI a question, that's not really a risk to anybody else, because that's really being that's really happening within the context of my own devices. So in those cases, um, we're not putting the light on. Mm -hmm. um, and so you're really trying to balance this. A good thing is happening, kind of like what happened with cell phones. Yeah. Like today, everyone knows that everyone has a cell phone. Yes. And every cell phone has a camera. Yes. That's not a surprise. At first, it was very surprising. It was, yeah. It was, <laughs> right? it was yeah. It took society a couple of years to get to used to that and, and accept then, it. Yeah. I think the same thing is happening now with the glasses. Mm -hmm. I think when we first launched Ray-Ban Stories, yeah. you know, three and a half years ago, it was a, you know, there was a lot of questions about this. Today, it's almost commonplace. Yes. It's like understood. Okay, yeah, this is this is a thing. Yeah. So we're committed to continuing to notify people when, hey, I am recording a video and it's like in the user space. Mm -hmm. um, but we want to balance that against, let's imagine that I'm somebody who is um, hard of hearing or deaf and I've got the subtitles on. Yeah. Um, that's not a thing that I need to like, that we need to alert the press Tell about. everyone, this yeah. is This is an assistive technology that's uh -huh. helping me. And by the way, even if I'm just hard of hearing or I've just been at to a loud concert the night before, like yeah, yeah. I'm getting the help I need yes. to navigate. So these are the really tough questions. To some degree, they are questions that I think should be discussed very publicly and have mm -hmm. a lot of people weigh in on them, and including legislation. Uh, I think it's very interesting. My personal opinion is if I'm taking a photo or a video um, that's something that, that we should be signaling through the light. Mm -hmm. um, if my AI is like helping me with something, that's just me asking a question. I could do it's, it with my phone. I happen to do it with my glasses. Yeah. If I took my phone out, you wouldn't be shocked. Yes. If I had the glasses, you wouldn't be shocked. I mean, it's just a thing 
right now. I mean, maybe in future, I mean, everyone is used to it. Yeah, and, and, and so I, I, society is building up an understanding of what this technology is, and I think as a consequence of building up an acceptance around it. You know, uh, given the popularity of these glasses, especially in markets like India, for example, uh, it's also a market which is very sensitive on the price yeah. and also durability because, okay, this is like a computer that you are going to face. So how do you see mass adoption going forward for these kind of yeah. glasses? Well, on durability, we feel really good about these. I mean, the nice thing is we've got partners with Inesso Exotica who are experts at hinges. They build premium product that lasts yeah. Yeah. people's lifetimes. Mm -hmm. um, the, on the markets, every market is so different. And India is a, you're right, we, we launched in India and had a tremendously positive response. Yes. We, we, we can't keep up with the demand in India. Um, I don't know, I don't know how many friends I've got like yeah. each a pair for all of my US trips, considering everyone wanted one because creators, especially today, absolutely, they want to have a device which is discreet, at the same time uh, gives you a good quality of video. Absolutely. And because it records vertically, yep. it adds into that social For flavor sure. altogether, yeah. And, and But markets like India and Brazil, they're not even one market. You know, yeah. we can't pretend like India is um, one place. Yeah. India is so big with yes. so many subcultures, subgroups, um, different languages. So um, for us, when we think about new markets, we're thinking about how do we make sure that the product localizes well, mm -hmm. that people can use it with local dialects as they need to. We're not there yet. That's the work that we have to do. Um, so that everyone gets the same full experience, um, no matter where they are in the world, no matter what language they speak. That's the North Star. And AI, by the way, is the key tool to unlocking it. Of course, yeah. Uh, Buzz, over the years, I mean, let's say past 15 years, the, the smartphone has killed multiple products. Yeah. And you know the list. I mean, Absolutely. it's never ending. <laughs> but then the big question is, who would kill the phone? Yeah. Do you think, I mean, a device this form factor, I have conviction that this could replace the phone. How about you? Yeah, no, I agree. Uh, we really feel strongly about this. And we've, we've felt that way for 10 years. Yeah. Um, we think of augmented reality as doing the jobs that a phone is meant to do. I want to be clear. Smartphones are awesome. We love smartphones. They're spectacular. Yeah. Um, but I think there's two things that have kept them, uh, well, two things that have positioned them to keep other innovation away. Mm. One of which is a tremendous ecosystem lock-in of software. Yeah. So they've got this long tail of applications and you're never gonna get those applications to move anyplace else. They're already on the phones. That's where they're gonna be. Yeah. Um, there's like an application for your toaster and there's an application for your garage door yes. and there's an application for your coffee maker. Yeah. Um, and I think AI is the key unlock there. Yes. I don't wanna go to the fifth page of my phone and yes. like tap the coffee maker app. Yeah. You just want to give a command. I just wanna say, make me yeah. some coffee yeah. and it yeah. figures it out. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. I think AI is the real unlock to and, and agents that are working on my behalf is a real unlock to the long tail there. And the second one is it was the compute you had with you. Mm -hmm. And that is a very valuable thing. We are finally getting to a place where you can actually do even better in yeah. terms of how natural and how integrated you can bring context into the world. So now when we think about the glasses, we do think about how can we keep your phone in your pocket? How can we do the jobs that your phone is doing for you, but do it better, do it more seamlessly and do it with more context about the world around you? Yeah, so I think let's see maybe in the next four, five, ten years what's going to happen, yeah? <laughs> uh, it's gonna, what's the old thing? It's going to happen slowly and then all at once. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so guys, uh, there you have it, hearing straight from, from the guy who's behind all this. And again, I'm excited for, for like these. I mean, I, I don't realize that I'm doing the same thing. I mean, but, <laughs> That's right, I know. But interesting part, again, uh, shows confidence that you are launching these starting 30th of September. That's I mean, right. It's just in two weeks. They're ready. We're yeah. excited about them. So, and okay, as a first-gen product, my personal experience doesn't feel like a first-gen product. Thank you. Yeah, it feels you know, like quite polished and as if like it was just meant to be. We're, we, we feel like it really came together and we're so yeah. thrilled to get it in the hands of people who, uh, who like you, see the, see the vision of the future. I was like, okay, I just had this one line while the demo and uh, going on. I was like, this pair of glasses, they have something for everyone. Yeah. I mean, let's say you are into captions. You need those. Let's say you you want to have just your WhatsApp on your front, just like maybe you want to record videos. Yep. Whatever. I mean, you know, there's some use case for everyone. I think. That's right. I agree. Yeah. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So guys, uh, there you have it. Uh, heard straight from the guy. If you you just need to like, share, and comment. What do you think about these glasses? And I'm gonna see you in the next video. Fly with me, Jai Hind, Vande Matram.